There's the coach's comments. Mike, let's take a look at the story of the game. Yeah, definitely right now coming in tonight, uh, this afternoon's game, the Brampton Battalion have got a lot to prove against this Ottawa 67s team as the 67s have taken it to them each and every time this season. Bell working the puck over, back to the point it comes, shot, rebound, Riley makes the save, next shot, they score! Andrew Merritt makes it one nothing, beating Jacob Riley three minutes and 43 seconds into the opening period. And that's an unfortunate turn of events for the Brampton Battalion there, as I think that it's pretty safe to say that they carried the play and had the best of the scoring opportunities, even though there weren't many in the early going, and Zach Bell struggles a little bit to control that puck in the corner, and then when, once that puck goes to the front of the net, a couple of whacks at it, and again, Bell essentially caught out of position a little bit there. Comes to Goodrow. Thorne and Cody Lindsay now going toe to toe on the near wall as Tyler Toffoli was dropped and Thorne is throwing big upper hand right and Lindsay's coming right back. Both guys hang on tight as the linesmen come in. Dave Poole and Rick Janko. Struggles on the power play, it all adds up to frustration. Cody CC wires one to the net, they score! Ottawa jumps out to a 2 0 lead. Well, the news on that one is all bad for Brampton as of course it comes as a four on four goal so the Ottawa 67s could still be looking at a power play here in 20 seconds as that's all we've got left in the four on four situation but with the face off obviously deep in the Brampton zone Ottawa controls off the draw and CC just loads up the gun and lets it go lots of traffic in front of it yet again Martindale back up top Demers slides it down sharp angle shot it bearing it on the far side is Tyler Toffoli. It's 3-0. And when we get a look at this on the replay again, you're going to think, obviously, a, a goal from a really pretty bad angle. But you saw Jacob Riley was out of his net and down on his knees very early, which gave a little extra time, space, and a whole lot more net to shoot at. And the Ottawa 67s capitalized on a four-on-four four and then a power play marker as we'll see the puck is going to come down just above the goal line. You see Riley's down just a little. Got Nesbitt with him, drops it back. Nesbitt slides it back for Nigro who moves behind that. Pair off launching him. Out to the crease it comes. Loose puck. Riley down. They score. Thomas Nesbitt gets the puck away from Jacob Riley and sinks it home for a 4 nothing lead. Perhaps there's another one, a uh, break that goes the wrong way, definitely. It looks like Riley had that one all covered up, and then somehow there was a little malfunction at the junction, as Eddie Whalen used to say. And the puck will be left right on the doorstep here after it ends up coming out in front of the net. And it looks like we may, in fact, have a goaltending change as well coming up here. Reached for it, and Nesbitt with the quick stick pokes it off. Riley gets the loose puck and puts it home into the open net and indeed Patrick Colleen comes off the bench to replace young Jacob Riley it's 4-0 for the 67s we'll get another look at it here and it's just a situation where Riley just flat out missed it and I think if you trace back two to the power play goal even though we mentioned it was a phenomenal shot he just seemed like he was a little bit Wynn pokes it by two men still on the play Cameron Wynn gets the shot away rebound they score Barkley Pinro makes it 4-1. That play made possible by Cameron Wynn following up on his own tip at center ice. That comes with confidence and in a bigger role as Cameron Wynn continues to impress. He's got the best plus-minus rating on the team. That's a five-on-five five stat, really. He's a plus-nine, getting things done as well here at even strength as he gets a shot on goal. And the big thing is Barkley Goodrow is going hard to that net for the follow-up. and. We'll take another look at it here from another angle, and again, you see Goodrow. The Barkley Goodrow. Goodrow gains the blue line, puts it back to Peroff at the point. Peroff lets the shot go, they score! Battalion on the power play, cut the lead in half to 4 2 with 5.20 to go. And I believe Sam Carrick may have made the deflection out in front. And the big thing coming up on this is there was a delayed penalty, so the Battalion are going to be back on the power play for a full. Two minutes coming off of this, and suddenly, folks, the complexion of this hockey game has changed, and it's changed very quickly.
quickly. And it's a matter of the Brands Battalion taking advantage of things on the power play and cashing in on those chances. So Thorin slides it down to Goodrow. Boy, a lot of light there for Matt Clark. Deflected in front, they score! Stephon Thorne with a buck 40 left in the third period. It's a one-goal hockey game. Well, we talked about Matt Clark contributing offensively a little bit more here, and he got a great shot away from the point. And the great traffic in front, and with a minute and 40 seconds left, the Branta Battalion are back to within a goal. And after being down 4-0 coming into this period to be in this situation, many wouldn't have believed it unless you were here or watching it on television. But with 1.40 to go, Serge... Clark, hand on the shot, slides it down in the corner. Six seconds left here in the third period. Battalion working the puck along, trying to move it to the front of the net. Carrick steps out, can't get the shot away. Nisbet gets it down the ice and preserves the victory for the Ottawa 67s. A big 4-3 victory on the road as the 67s hold on for dear life in the third, leading 4-0, win it 4-3. A big win on the road here for Ottawa after coming off a tough one last night on the road. And the Brampton Battalion, they have to be happy with the third period they played here this afternoon. But the first two periods coming up empty on the scoreboard is what cost them. A big three-goal third period for the Battalion, but not enough to get them a point. They lose 4-3 in regulation time to the Ottawa 67. So we're going to take a break here in Battalion Hockey and come back with more. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Matt Clark. And I'm Ken Perrell. We're from the Brampton Battalion. And we'd like to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. And a safe and enjoyable holiday.